Hello, I'm Victoria Lemieux. I'm an associate professor in archival science at the University of British Columbia, and I'm also the cluster lead of blockchain at UBC. The mission of blockchain at UBC is really to work with industry as a collaboration with academia to promote blockchain related research and development in a multidisciplinary research platform. How did you first get involved in blockchain? Uh, my first experience with blockchain was with Bitcoin back in the days when Bitcoin was worth three to fifteen dollars. Uh, I was part of this pool called Slush's Pool and uh, we managed to mine, I, well, I personally managed to mine about one Bitcoin and uh, I thought it would go nowhere because you know it's Bitcoin, like, what the hell is that? But uh, then a couple years later the price jumps up to a hundred dollars and then a couple months after that it goes up to fourteen hundred dollars and I completely missed out on that. Uh, yeah, we've been following that space uh, for quite a while because it's a natural fit for the way we develop all other software. And um, so it's, it's been what, a couple of years and so on, uh, discussions with uh, uh, my son who was a student at, uh, was at time student at UVic and who works for uh, Coinbase in the Bay Area and now and so on. So uh, there's a lot of interesting feedback from that direction. I guess that was the main part of my involvement originally. One time Dr. Lemire was doing a, a lecture in one of our classes and I got interested and she pulled me aside and said, hey Alicia, you want to do this great opportunity here at UBC? And I was like, sure, and here I am. Um, what is your best takeaway from the Summer Institute? I think my best takeaway was the camaraderie in between the, in between the other students. Uh, so uh, everyone was at the uh, at the starting point in their understanding about the te about the technology, and it came through in the way we all helped each other solve problems, uh, as, especially in the practical elements of, of the of the institute. Curtis explained Hyperledger in a very business centric way, and Hyperledger seemed like it was the most business centric blockchain infrastructure that I've seen up till now, uh, because it's a private blockchain as opposed to a public blockchain like Bitcoin. It had uh, far more useful implications, I guess, for different industries. And uh, like he was explaining the sort of coffee trading industry, uh, and Maersk, which is like a giant in terms of uh, transportation, uh, those sort of real life examples and researching blockchain after that as well and seeing sort of the insurance industry deciding to take it up, the FinTech industries deciding to take it up. All of that sort of worked more with Hyperledger in my eyes than the private blockchains or the public blockchains. Well, we always share uh, these, uh, anything that we learn, our, our time-based series architectures every week at our meetup and we do that for free. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, we can enable companies to take advantage of blockchain uh, within what would seem more mundane uh, domains and to be able to leverage uh, future architectures for what their current business needs are now, but not uh, limit them so that they can take advantage of not only blockchain, but also artificial intelligence. So at the Summer Institute, we got introduced to three flavors of blockchain technology. Um, Bitcoin, we got into the back end of that, Ethereum, and also Hyperledger. Hyperledger particularly took my fancy because it's a very introducible te uh, technology. Um, you can easily, in you can easily install it and bring it to businesses at, who want to collaborate in a certain space. Who inspires you most in the blockchain space? So no real individual has, has really inspired me in the, in the blockchain space, but I'm really inspired and really enthused by the, uh, the whole community that, uh, that we have, especially here in Vancouver and at UBC. We have so many, uh, so many bright minds and so many people in this really, this young industry or this young technology. Uh, that are so keen to grow it. Uh, that's really inspiring for me and I'm excited to be a part of it. Also working with the Adaptic guys I think was very inspiring just seeing how they're taking uh, all, the, all the knowledge they have before blockchain um, and now continuously trying to improve and change and integrate blockchain into their uh, new models and uh, I think that was very inspiring to actually see the the community. Blockchain at UBC seems to have a very distinct flavor of social impact. 
and that was my initial pull. Um, and I met um, Professor Limo um, at a Vancouver event, and we got into talking. And she had worked in, worked in World Bank, and um, so we had similar background relating to that. And so we briefly discussed about the role of blockchain in developing countries and what it can mean, what it can bring. And uh, so, and, and then she invited me for the summer school and that's how I got into it. What are you doing with the knowledge and connections you gained at the institute? Oh wow, um, I'm already getting started on a lot of different projects. Uh, first of all, I'm right now working currently on a, writing a white paper for a software development company here in Vancouver and I'm also will be assisting blockchain at UBC as well as Vicky Lemire and a big team of people who are working on a blockathon for BC Landshift. Uh, for me personally I want to develop a decentralized poker uh, out, uh, game I guess or a platform for poker playing. I'm actually working on some of the biggest blockchain projects at Broadridge. At the same time I'm actually going to publish a technical white paper end of November I'm actually building a trade finance platform built on top of Ethereum, which is meant for banks and big financial institutions. So I'll be working with Blockchain at UBC as a research fellow uh, on looking at blockchain for social impact. So my attachment is more with the Bitcoin Club. I'm taking whatever we learned in, in the summer and bringing that to students at UBC. I'm hoping to be more involved on even the organization uh, given what we've learned this time around, just how much uh, closer we really are uh, in, in, in terms of being able to bring uh, also students that are studying this, or studying computer science, to really have those skills applied directly to where the industry is going and to, to have them um, have a path clearly after they're done with a, with a meaningful internship somewhere that's going to continue uh, leveraging what they've learned to put it into practice in the real world and, and really make that not such an onerous task as it has been in history. Uh, we uh, just recently partnered up with Blockchain at UBC to explore some initiatives and uh, opportunities that we have as an organization to uh, implement and use blockchain to uh, further our technology. I'm a Bitcoin researcher at the Blockchain Intelligence Group here in Vancouver. Yeah, so we, we've already uh, so I've brought on a student already actually after that from the Blockathon who's actually joined our team in order to help develop the application. So he'll be starting soon. Um, we're obviously working with UBC at Blockchain in order to help us on the research side of things in order to build our product, which is going to be bigger picture. We're building the verified version of LinkedIn using Blockchain. This is what we're working on. So it's quite a big idea, lots of potential, and we've got a few partners involved and we're quite excited about it. So looking for more people to work with us at the moment. Mm -hmm.